What's up guys, today we'll be going over the Outbreak Perfected from the new Zero Hour Hidden Quest line. And as you see, it has three unique perks, the first one being this weapon creates SIVA Nanite swarms on rapid hits and precision kills. Then it also has Outlaw, which we all know what Outlaw is. Then it also has this final perk, this weapon does more damage to enemies based on the number of SIVA Nanites that are attached to them. Then it also has a catalyst, which we cannot complete yet, but we can still look at the perk right now. And as you see right here, it says increase nanite damage. Enemies that die with nanites attached to them generate additional nanites. So in this video, I'm not going to be breaking down how to get this weapon, how to start the quest, how to get the catalyst or anything like that. Dado did his usual very detailed guide on this already. So I'm going to go ahead and link his video in the description if you want to do that. In my opinion, go in blind the first time. Then if you need help, go watch this video but definitely get that first experience of not knowing what's going on it'll make it a lot more enjoyable so starting to look at the weapon it does a lot of things actually so whenever you get a precision kill or two rapid hits on the same enemy it creates these siva nanites which then go towards any enemy nearby which do a lot of damage on impact and if it doesn't kill the enemy it then buffs its own weapon damage from the outbreak perfected and it will just increase the damage over and over again the more nanites on the enemy the higher damage you will get as you see right here i started in the 200s i'm already hitting almost 500 on the ogre and i've never seen that actual max cap to this buff yet i think it just goes on forever so as you see on the strike boss which has a lot of health i start hitting 132 head and 80 body shots and by the end of the clip i'm hitting 271 body shots which is 3.4x more damage and that actually wasn't the cap of the damage buff that's just what it was when the enemy died and as you see, it actually stacks with your teammates, so it doesn't matter whose name knights are on the enemy, it will buff all Outbreak Perfected damage. We got up to like 3.2x damage right there very quickly because it counts everyone's name knights, not just your own. So not only does this weapon have actually really good single target damage that ramps up over time, it has insane ad clear. As you see, whenever you get a precision kill on one enemy or, you know, hit two rapid shots, these nanites go all over the place, they'll track anyone, they do a lot of damage, definitely enough damage to kill low tier adds just from the explosions alone. Then on top of that, you can put on something like Chromatic Fire, which then does Firefly on Precision Kills 2 with your Kinetic Weapon. And that actually makes it even more insane. And the Ad Clear just goes through the roof. But once we get the Catalyst, I wouldn't recommend using Chromatic Fire once you have the Catalyst unlocked on this weapon. Because things that die with Nane Knights on them will create more Nane Knights, so it will chain over and over again. And Firefly might lessen that, you know, ability to chain over and over again. Which I'm extremely excited to see that chaining once we get the Catalyst fully upgraded. Like the Agler is already really good on this weapon as is, but once we get it masterworked, it's just going to go through the roof. It's going to be up there for one of the best exotic primary weapons probably in the entire game, in my opinion. So let's talk about PvP real quick. So on headshots, it hits 25, which results in a 3 burst kill. Then on body shots, it's going to hit 16 per shot, which results in 5 shots. So you're going to be hitting 3 bursts if you hit all headshots, maybe 4 or even 5 if you hit body shots and a few headshots in between. And as you see, the Nanites do 10 damage on impact, and then once they're on an enemy, I hit 44 per shot, which would be a two burst, which is kind of crazy. And as you see right here, I'm testing how long the Nanites stay on an enemy, and it lasts for roughly six seconds, as you'll see, which means if you get a kill and someone's nearby and they attach to them, you have six seconds to get that extra damage in with the buff. Now I played one game with this weapon in uh, quick play and I'm not that big of a pulse rifle guy in this current meta, so I didn't really enjoy it that much. But it's definitely a very solid 450 RPM pulse rifle. And it's kind of like Firefly in a way where the perk isn't going to be used that often. But there are those situations where it'll be used and it'll work very well in that situation. And you can also pair it with Chromatic Fire just like PvE and it'll make that even better. Outside of multiple enemies being in the same area, it's just a 450 RPM pulse rifle which is definitely good. But not necessarily my playstyle. So if you love pulse rifles, definitely give this thing a try in quick play. You'll probably love it. And when you get to two or three enemies nearby, it's going to definitely destroy them. So the rest of the video will be a few highlights from that PvP game I played, along with two strike game plays. I will be using this for strike bosses soon, so we'll be able to see how well the buff actually works on single targets with three people shooting at the same time, and see if there's a cap on that buff, which I don't think there is. I think as long as you keep shooting the same enemy over and over, continuously do more and more damage. As long as you're putting more nanites on the enemy than are disappearing every six seconds, then I think that number will keep going up forever. But it'll definitely be interesting to see how well Exotic Primary can handle strike bosses. And there's not really too many in the game that are good. One is like Huckleberry maybe. But I think with the ramp up DPS of this weapon, I think it'll be the best primary weapon for DPS. 
Then also on top of that, like I mentioned, it has extremely good ad clear, which will only get better as we mass work the weapon. So all around, they did an extremely good job. It's exactly what the name of the weapon says. It's perfected. They definitely perfected this weapon. It's good across the board. There really is no weaknesses in either PvE or PvP. And overall, they just did a great job. So it's definitely worth the grind going to do this. Even if the zero hour mission didn't reward this, I would still say go play that just because of how cool it is and how unique of experience it is. I think it takes the elements from Whisper and turns it up to 11. So they did great there. They did great with the weapon. I have nothing really else to say other than Bungie did a great job with this hidden event. Anyways, let me know what you think about this weapon. Have you been enjoying it? What do you think about zero hour the mission and the heroic version and stuff like that? Anyways, like I said, I'm going to link Dado's video if you need a guide on how to get this weapon. And in the next few days, I'll have this for strike bosses and also we'll have a few zero hour speedruns, probably of normal and heroic. We already did a sub 10 on normal without really much effort. So probably try to get somewhere in the eight minute range for normal and upload that. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.